All right, so my tinder bundle is going to have a little bit of birch bark, a little bit of jute twine, a little bit of fat wood, shavings, all around niftiness. Hello and welcome to Connecticut Backcountry. I'm Gary. Uh, I was talking to my buddy James from James G's Adventures and he had this nifty thing that he was doing called the Traveling Flint and Steel. I'll link the video down below and uh, challenged me to do it. So he gave me the box and in the box there's a steel striker, some pieces of flint, a piece of quartz, some char cloth, some cute twine that James uh, put in there and FR1 defense fundamentals of ready first defense. It looks like a bag of waxed cotton. Um, pretty simple. Oh, char cloth. Did I mention the char cloth? I'm not going to use the fiery stuff. I'm just going to use the flint and the striker. Makes pretty good sparks. Um, I already set up my tinder bundle with my own jute, some birch bark, and some fat wood that James gave me. Um, I'm going to use my own char cloth. I don't really want to deplete what's in the container. And I'm going to add to the container a piece of red jasper and a piece of carnelian, both of which strike a spark pretty well. And I will sharpen them probably before. Anyway. That's the Jasper, strike sparks, Carnelian, strike sparks, pretty well, um, just as well as the Flint. So without further ado, we're going to do, these guys they have a group of people and they do this thing called Fatwood Friday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to light my Fatwood if I can and we're going to call this Fat, Fatwood Friday and I'm going to release it tomorrow. Tiny piece of flint. Lots and lots of fire. So I made a really nice big tinder bundle. Let's see how we do. We still have fire. Already lighting. So the fat wood he gave me, I believe, I believe, came from Redneck Renegade. And when these guys do a fat wood Friday, it seems like they dedicate it to somebody. Oh, I'm actually going to dedicate it to the whole group. Those guys, they seem like a pretty solid, solid group of guys. Uh, check them out. Ron T. Sawyer. I'm going to put all the links down below. Ron T. Sawyer, Redneck Renegade. Um, I believe he was the first one to actually do the traveling flint and steel. And uh, James G's Adventures. He's a good dude and he's right in town. He actually won my uh, pot hook. So, all right. There we go. Now, like I said, putting in a piece of red jasper and I'm going to add to it a piece of carnelian both are going to be sharp yeah, it's going pretty well I'll just put that right there so you can watch um, I got my little spalling tool and 
to make sure it's got a couple edges where people can catch a spark with it. It already has a couple edges, but ooh, actually, nice piece came off and left a whole bunch of sharp spots. This is my first. back in here so let's see what edges on here already a real nice edge right there it's too bright I don't think you can see the sparks but it's throwing good sparks really like the red jasper it strikes a spark so well. the uh, Redneck Renegade seems to be burning pretty well. Of course I kind of stacked the deck in my favor. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.